Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Now I have been getting a ton of calls lately about net energy metering and how it works or doesn't work in some people's cases. Now it always works, I want to say that, but I really thought I'd take the opportunity to actually kind of break down how net energy metering works for people that go solar. But before we get into how net energy metering works, let's take a second to talk about what net energy metering is. Net metering, also known as net energy metering, or NEM, is a solar incentive that allows you to store energy in the electrical grid with your utility provider, be it SoCal Edison or San Diego Gas and Electric. This occurs when your solar panels produce more electricity than you need, and that energy is sent to the grid in exchange for credits. At night or during other times throughout the year when your solar isn't producing enough and you have to use energy from the grid, you're deducting this energy usage from your solar credits. Very simple. Now, NEM has changed over the years. So in 2018, the California Public Utilities Commission, or PUC, developed a new NEM program called NEM 2.0. And it has since been rolled out throughout California, and that's when things started to get really confusing for homeowners looking at going solar. Now, before I get too far into this, please take a second to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And if you or someone that lives in our area of Southern California, be it Riverside County, LA County, San Diego County, Orange County, Visit us online to receive a free quote. We have some great promotions going on that you're not going to want to miss out on. So use that link in the description below. All right, so back to NEM. Under NEM 2.0, any excess solar energy you send to the utility company earns you a dollar value based on the time of day and the cost of energy at that time. This fluctuates depending on the season and, of course, the time of day. So under Edison's TOUD 4 to 9, the cost of electricity starts at 26 cents between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. This cost increases to 41 cents until about 9 p.m. and then decreases again back to 26 cents. So depending on when you're using power will determine how much your actual utility bill will be. Now, when you go solar, this same time of use structure applies except you're earning credits to use when the solar isn't producing power. Now if you have a battery, that is a whole nother video that I will definitely do one, but you gotta give this a thumbs up. If I get a lot of comments or requests, I'm definitely gonna do an NEM video on how it works with batteries. So please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. If your solar system is designed properly, you should earn enough credits to offset any higher rates, specifically that four to nine period. Now, most people don't realize that solar systems in Southern California typically produce 24 hours worth of energy in just five and a half hours on average. Now, as the sun starts to rise, your solar system turns on and starts providing power to your home. The average home uses somewhere around 500 to 1500 watts in the morning before you head to school or to work. But once the house is empty, the energy usage for your home is actually very low, in most cases less than 500 watts. As the day progresses, solar production increases, and with no one home to use the energy, well it's got to go somewhere, so it's being sent to the electrical grid to earn credits for you. Now in this example, I'm going to say this solar system was estimated to produce 30 kilowatt hours on this particular day. And let's say it did this between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Well, that's nine hours of solar production to create 30 kilowatt hours. That's pretty impressive. Now assuming the family left at 9 a.m., the home used from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. one kilowatt hour. And from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the home consumed 3.5 kilowatt hours. That's a total of 4.5 kilowatt hours. This means you would send 25.5 kilowatt hours 
to the utility company for solar credits to use basically from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. Very simple. But I'm not done yet because under NEM 2.0, you earned a dollar value for this excess solar energy. Now I know one hour of solar production was generated in the higher rate period, but I'm just going to ignore that and base it all on 26 cents. So 25.5 kilowatt hours multiplied by 26 cents per kilowatt hour is $6.63. That's pretty good for a day's worth of energy that was created by the sun. And if you multiplied that by the month, well, that's $199 in solar credits. Now remember, this fluctuates throughout the seasons. That's why you have some months you're gonna produce more than 30 kilowatt hours and some months you're gonna produce less. It's a give and take under the NEM program. Now, if you balance your energy usage at night, then you should come out ahead. This will, of course, fluctuate. Again, throughout the entire year, some months you'll have a bunch of solar energy and other months, maybe not so much. As you can see, your winter months solar production is lower, but so is your energy consumption. Maybe it just barely covers you. Now, if it doesn't, as it starts to ramp up in the summer, you can see your solar production outpaces your actual consumption. So those are months you're actually earning a lot of extra credits. And it, you're able to use these throughout the entire year because you're on an NEM program that's annually based. So you're basing all your electricity costs over the course of an entire year. Now, this is why you go solar and are enrolled in net metering. You're, you're placed in this annual billing cycle unless you specifically opt to be in the monthly system, which in many cases our customers don't. I, and we try to advise you not to, but it's your choice. So you can balance your energy consumption with your solar production throughout the entire year. If you have an end phase system from us, we include consumption monitoring. So you can actually see your solar production and your consumption. And that's very valuable for you to gauge how well you're offsetting your energy consumption, and how low of a utility bill you might get. If you're using way more energy than what the solar was designed for, of course you're gonna end up with a bill at the end of the year. It might be $500, it might be 1,000. It really depends on how much energy you're consuming. If you use hardly any power or use exactly what the solar was designed for, you're probably gonna end up with no bill or maybe a $100 bill for the entire 12 months. And you know, if you only had to pay 100 bucks to Edison for one whole year, I mean, that's, uh, sign me up. I mean, that's a killer savings. Well, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get a quote from us if you haven't gone solar. This program, being NEM, is phenomenal for homeowners and really makes it economical for you to go solar because you're really going to save money from it. Plus, you have the 26% federal tax credit that was extended. So that's an even bigger perk and incentive to going solar. And of course, subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.